Alrighty, so today's video is a little bit different just because I'm going to be doing an entire video dedicated to my crochet hooks. Specifically, my BWA wood turning crochet hooks because they are my favorite and I get a lot of questions about them. Hopefully I can answer all your questions in this video about my favorite crochet hooks. Also don't mind my bangs right now, they're doing whatever they wanna do and I can't control them. BWA wood turning offers one of a kind artistic and functional wood turnings. They they specialize in custom wood laminations made of domestic and exotic woods. On their website, you can browse so many different crochet hooks. It doesn't matter what color scheme you're into or you know what your vibe is they'll have something for you. Me personally, I love the ones with like a little bit of wood in there, you know, a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange. Look at the different options that you can pick from. And they are more than just their crochet hooks. They have ornaments and seasonal decor items. They have kitchenware from wine stoppers, cheese knives, ice cream scoops. They have unique pens and letter openers. And they even have jewelry and keychains. If you wanna check out what else they offer, I will be linking their website in the description below. Alrighty then, let's start this hook review. I get a lot of question about the crochet hooks that I use for my projects, and this video is strictly dedicated to talking about those crochet hooks. These hooks, these lovely hooks here, are from BWA Wood Turning. They are a Canadian company, and they made these lovely crochet hooks. I just really wanted to make a video talking about these hooks because I do get a lot of questions about them, so this is what I'm gonna do. They do come in three different sizes. This is the small size that it comes in. This is what the small one looks like, also known as the regular size. From here to here is 5.5 inches. I really love the wood in it. You know me, anything that like looks kind of like 80s or your grandpa would own it, I will own it. So this was my actually very first hook from them. The next size hook is this one here, and this one's actually a custom size. When they make their crochet hooks, they do this size, which is just the regular hook size, and then they make this size here, which is called their extra long hook. So this one here is the mid-range length. So from here to here, it is six inches, and the extra long one from here to here is 6.5 inches there is a little bit of a difference. Now this one here is actually my sister's. She let me borrow it for this video because I do not actually have this size of hook and this one is from their Halloween collection. So this is the six inch hook. And then this here is the extra long 6.5 inch hook. And that is from here all the way to the top. I really, really love this one. I, again, the wood, the orange, I love this hook, my sister's hook here. Hers is this blue swirl with almost like a an opal shimmer in it. it, is the same size as this one. I just really wanted to give you a look at other options. Now for this one here, it is a custom order. If you go and follow them on their Instagram page, on their stories and on their feed, custom orders where they will have just the boxy, not even a crochet hook yet piece. And if that is one that you really like, you can reach out to them and you can ask them to customize it in whatever size you like. Personally, I like the longer one better, but I will eventually want to order the medium size one as well. You can also head over to their website where they have a section where you can write to them and ask about their customizations and what they have available. They're very helpful and very sweet people and they will do their best to accommodate you. Now I'm going to talk to you about their hook sizes. Now when you order from them, they actually have three different types of crochet colors, hooks, what I have you. A lot of the time they do just have the silver is included, but if you do a custom order, you can get the multicolored one. They also do have a gold version. I do not have the gold version. I would really like to have the gold version eventually when I make my next order. I just lined up the different hook sizes that you get with your crochet hook. So with your handle, you also get eight different sizes of crochet hooks. So you get a three millimeter, a 3.5 millimeter, a four millimeter, a 4.5 millimeter, a 
a 5 millimeter, a 5.5 millimeter, a 6 millimeter, and a 7 millimeter. There is no 6.5 millimeter if anybody is wondering, because sometimes I'm wondering and I look for it. I'm like, all oh, right, it doesn't have one. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks plus the handle. The newest hook sizes that they do have is they have the mini, micro, the littlest, tiniest hooks that you can get. You can purchase these with your order and on the back, they actually go from 8.5 all the way down to a 2.75. And then from 2.75, the next size would be the three millimeter hook that comes with your crochet hook. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to change your hook. This part here, it just unscrews and this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a pen right now. I'm just showing you without it, but you want to have this on, just screwed on a little bit. And then you take whatever hook you're going to use. And there are little teeth. See that there's like little teeth there goes into here. And you can kind of see how there's like that cross shape. So you want to make sure that the teeth on here that are parallel, you see those right there. You want to make sure that those are lined up with like right here and here. So you're just going to pop that in and you're going to screw it down. And then what I like to do is before this is tight, I'll push this down even more, screw a little bit more, push down and then tighten. And that's not going anywhere. And then all you do to change the hook is you unscrew it, pop the old hook out, line it up, put the new hook in. When I am changing it, I will push it down and tighten, push, tighten, push, tighten. And again, that's not, it's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to talk about the hooks. For the hooks themselves, what they're made out of is that the back end here and this part right here are made out of stainless steel and the hooks are made out of painted chrome. This hook here is called a tapered hook. And as you can see, it is really rounded, okay? I will put a image here to show you the difference between a tapered hook and an inline hook. Now an inline hook has a very sharp edge to it almost. The tapered hook has a really nice round hook on it. This is the type of hook that I personally like to use. I think it works the best. I find a lot of times with inline hooks, it can get caught on the, the fiber or the yarn itself. And it gets a little bit annoying. So when I had bought this and realized that it comes in a tapered hook, I was so excited because this is my favorite type of hook to crochet with. That's pretty much the overview of the hook and how to use it. And now I'm gonna get into some of your questions. On my Instagram, I did ask if you had any questions about the crochet hooks that I use, please ask them. And now I'm going to answer those questions. So some of the questions were ones that I have already answered in this video, but there are a few that I have not. So let's go over this. Does the yarn catch where the metal meets wood? That's actually a really good question. And it has never happened to me. I've never actually had that problem. I am using a five millimeter crochet hook and I'm gonna be using a worsted weight medium yarn to demonstrate this. So when I'm crocheting, I'm crocheting up here. So as you can see, the yarn is never touching this. It's never going anywhere near this. It's staying far away from this. So I'm not crocheting down here. A seven millimeter hook right now. It's chunky yarn. It, it is going a little bit further just because it is a chunkier yarn. As you can see, as I'm crocheting this, it is not catching. It's still not really even touching the base of the hook here. And even with this really, really chunky yarn, it's not getting caught. Okay. And now let's say we want to do a double crochet. So even more chains on this thing. Yarn is not getting caught in this. Now, I don't know about super, super fine yarn like mohair or anything like that, but there's not a big enough gap in this thing here for yarn really to get caught in. The next question, for people who hold it closer to the hook, will the rigid metal bit be uncomfortable? Here's the thing, I've learned that I crochet different than everybody else, and probably there's a lot of people who crochet like me, but I do actually put my finger on this metal bit the whole time. It was just the way that I learned how to crochet and now I can't stop doing it this way. And this, it is not sharp. It is not 
jagged. It's very, very smooth. It's not rough at all. Honestly, I don't even notice it when I crochet. Next question. Does the screw on the hook ever loosen? Sometimes, not all the times. The only time that I really notice it loosening is when I'm using like a cotton or a dense type of yarn, but for like the acrylic, for wool, that kind of stuff, I never see it loosening. But when I do see it loosen, I'll just show you. It will like loosen ever so slightly that this just has like a little bit of a wiggle to it and you just kind of lock it up. Again, I only ever notice that when I'm using like a tighter stitch on cotton yarn. I think I do my crochets a little bit too tight when I use cotton. And because of that, I'm constantly pulling at this and it will loosen a little bit, but then you just tighten it up and you're good to go. Do I find the crochet hooks too long? I prefer the longer one over the shorter one. A few other hooks that I do wanna show you just as a comparison, so that way if you do wanna buy them, you know what you're getting into. So this hook here is just the basic hook that you can get at Michael's. That's the difference between those two. And then this is the difference there. So this one is taller than this. This hook here is almost the same length as the custom six inch handle is. But if you go on their website and you don't wanna get a customized one, this is the difference. And I'm gonna be honest, I enjoy working with this one a lot more than this one. I did get used to working with the small one. And when I moved up to the longer one, it did take me a little bit of time to get used to this one. I actually like the longer crochet hook. So the next question I got was how smooth are they to crochet with? I think that they're very smooth to crochet with. I really like them because they are tapered. I feel like they don't get hung up on the yarn like an inline hook would. Again, this one here is the hook from Michaels. I'm just showing you the comparison of hooks. They are pretty much identical. So if you enjoy using the Michaels hook here, the basic one, then you're really going to like this one because if you look at the hooks, they are identical identical. It's the same type of hook. Really enjoy crocheting with these. Compared to ones you can buy at a store, what hooks do they feel like the most? Like I mentioned, I do want to say that if you're looking for a really good tapered hook, it's exactly like the Michaels one. I believe these ones are the loops and thread version. The hook is identical. And I feel like when I'm crocheting, it's like I'm crocheting with this style of hook because this style of hook, the gold one, the 5.0 was the hook of my choice. I use that religiously for years until I discovered nicer hooks out there, but I really enjoyed crocheting with this. And so when I got these hooks, I realized that the hook itself is identical and like you can, you can see it. They are the exact same hook shape. Is the handle heavy? Is it easy to travel with? I do want to point out, I do not travel. I stay at home. But when I do have to say like go from my house to the yarn shop, I find it incredibly easy to travel with. So like this is my travel case. What I normally do is I'll put these crochet hooks in here because it is resin. It can be scratched or scuffed up if I don't know, leave it with open pair of scissors or you put it in a bag of rocks. So it is really hard to the touch. But if you really scratch at it and stuff like that, you know, it's resin it will chip a little bit. That is why you have to be careful with your crochet hooks. These are your instruments. These are your tools. These are precious. You shouldn't be throwing them in a bag of rocks. So that is why I like to keep them in their little pouch over here. And then all my little hooks, I put them over here. And then, you know, sometimes I have my measuring tape over here. I got my scissors here. So they're separated. And this is just from Michael's, just a simple case. I think this is supposed to be a travel case or a pencil case, but it is my crochet case. So I do keep them protected when I am not using them. And they're very easy to travel with. Like, think about it. Do you want to carry eight different crochet hooks with you? Or do you want to carry one good crochet hook with you? with eight little hooks that you can interchange. With this question, I'm also going to compare it in weight. And I do have some other crochet hooks just to show you the weight of it, because I know a lot of people might like a lighter hook. Some people might like a heavier hook. Personally, I love a heavier hook. So I'm just now going to compare how it feels to other hooks. First off, the three different sizes they pretty much all feel the same. This one might be a little bit lighter because it's a little bit smaller. They are all the same weight. That being said, with these being pretty much the same weight, I'm gonna be using this one to show you how it compares to other weights of crochet hooks. Now, I do wanna say that these hooks are not very heavy. They're just a little bulkier to hold, but I love that. I love, I, I do really like this style of 
crochet hook. First off, the Michaels hook. Michael's hook is obviously much lighter. The next one I'm gonna go with is this one here. I'm not too sure what brand this is. This is my sister's. I borrowed a few hooks from her so I can test these out. This one is a lot lighter, but you can see how, you know, it has the same type of shape. I'm gonna go to this wood one here, which is from Mary Maxim. If I weigh them. This one is still a little bit heavier, but not by much. So this one is lighter. And now I'm gonna go into my furls crochet hooks. The furls is a little bit lighter just because it's all resin, whereas this has some resin, it has some wood, it has the metal, it has the metal hook, right? There is a little bit of a difference. The metal furls hook, this one here, is heavier than this one. So I have to say the BWA hook is actually right in between the two furls hooks. It's a little bit heavier than this, but it is lighter than the metal one. It's so much lighter. Like this one is really heavy, probably the heaviest hook that I own. And that also kind of goes back into what hook does it feel like I'm crocheting with most. For the hook part, it feels like I'm crocheting with this one here, but for the overall grip and feel, it feels like I'm crocheting with a furls crochet hook. If you own furls, then you'll know what this one pretty much weighs like. And honestly, I really do like the weight of this because I like how it's a little bit more heavy Heavier than this and I like how it's a little bit more lighter than this one. So the next question is do you use this for all your projects or do you sometimes use other hooks in your collection? Ever since I got these hooks I pretty much have not gone back to my other hooks. I have a lot of furls hooks and I do like them, but with a furls hook, it does have that inline as you can see here and it's okay, I, I don't mind it, but I'd much rather have a tapered hook. I think I got these back at the beginning of 2024, so I've almost crocheted an entire year with these hooks. The only time I do go back to a furls hook is for my temperature blanket because I started that back in January before I even got these hooks. So I just like to stay with the same hook for for the same project. And then the only other time I use another hook is if I'm doing a Tunisian style crochet project. And with a Tunisian style crochet project, it has to be on a wire or a string and it has to be really long where these hooks are just not made for Tunisian crochet. It's made for just regular crocheting where you crochet a stitch, then you take it off, then you put another one on, then you take it off. Whereas Tunisian, you kind of keep them all on your hook and then you take them all off at once. So these ones aren't meant for Tunisian crochet, but for everyday regular crocheting, these are the hooks that I always go to. Also, look at them. They're beautiful. You think I'm not going to use this beautiful hook to crochet everything? Yeah, I love these hooks. Hence why I'm making this video. <laughs> because I love them so much. And then the last question I got was, do you ever experience wrist pain while crocheting? I have to say, when I used to use this crochet he hook here, I did get wrist pain. Now, I also do wanna point out that when I do crochet, I crochet a little bit different. And I don't know if you guys have picked up on that. I use my left hand a lot and I am right-handed. And when I see my sister crochet and my friends crochet, they don't use their non-dominant hand a lot where I do. So I don't know if it's because of the hook I'm using or it's just the way that I crochet. I do take breaks in between crocheting and I maybe crochet crochet between two to five hours a day. So I'm not crocheting constantly throughout the day, but I have to say that a few times with this type of hook, my hands would hurt a little bit just because you're holding it like so small, like a like a pencil and it's just so tiny. Whereas this has a nice grip to it so you're not like clutching onto it, right? When I normally crochet, again, I use my left hand a lot. So when I go into a stitch, I'm like looping over and pulling through. So I'm not doing a lot of action with my right hand. That also could be it because I'm kind of sharing the work between two hands instead of just my one hand doing all the movements. I think that pretty much sums up this video. I talked about the hook, how to use the hook, what the hooks come with. And that does it for this video. Hopefully I answered your questions that you had about my crochet hooks. Again, they are my favorite crochet hooks, hence why I made an entire video dedicated to them. If you are new to my channel and you do like crocheting and then stuff like that, why not hit the subscribe button? So I think that pretty much does it for this video. So y'all have a good day now.